Welcome to this short video training session for the Dynascope DS8400 monitor. This training session will demonstrate some of the features and functions within the monitor, mainly around displays and uh, how to find various uh, useful user keys that you might want to use. So to begin with, we're going to look at the various display options that you have available. Now it might be that yours are part of your user key setup or you may have a stacker menu like this one. So this one's called modes, it equally could be called displays or something similar. So if you just touch, you can see that it will bring up the choices of displays that we have available. The display that we've currently got showing is our invasive display. So this is an, an ICU monitor setup and we've got heart rate, arterial, CVP, oxygen saturation, RESPs, two temperatures, and our non-invasive blood pressure and non-invasive blood pressure list. So we have our parameter area here, and we have our waveform area here, and user keys down the side. Equally, user keys you may see along the bottom, or you may see down the left-hand side. There's also three fixed keys here on the right-hand side. Time and date here on the top right-hand corner. This is where you'll see any alarm messages that may occur. Your display will be here and also this is your patient information area. And in the very left hand corner you'll see either your bed uh, number or your channel number in that top left corner there. So to change between our various displays, if we just touch here, I can go into any of the others. So I also have an invasive plus CO2 display. So that now adds in my CO2 monitoring and also a stopwatch there. You'll see that's appeared, which was different. If I touch again, I can then look at my non-invasive display. So as you can see, nice big numbers. We've got our heart rate, SATs, rest rate, NIBP, and a large non-invasive blood pressure list there as well to view. And then the other display that we've got showing is the auto. So this is our plug and play display. And this will show you whatever is plugged into the monitor. So anything that's plugged in will, will display here. Anything that's unplugged will disappear. The other display that uh, you may want to access is the 12 lead display if you have that function on your monitor. So if I select the 12 lead, you'll see that it will show me my 12 leads, a choice of another waveform, still access to my parameters and my user keys here. So back to our modes, we'll go back to the invasive mode. Okay, so having a little look at another few features, if you were wanting to, uh, to do a 12 lead ECG, you need to check that you have your filter button activated. So to do that, you touch your heart rate parameter, you touch the extended menu, and then see here you've got your filter choices, and it will need to be on diagnostic for the 12 lead ECG. Normally, you'll find that it's on monitor, filter, and then diagnostic for your 12 lead ECG. So just using the back button there to go back. The other button that may be useful is to turn on your synchronized mark tone, so the beep, beep tone. Uh, you may want to, uh, to have that turned on. Um, so if I touch the heart rate parameter there and again go into that extended menu at the top and then you can see here you've got your synchronized mark tone which is currently off. If I switch that to auto you can hear now the beep beep tone. As you can see I can choose what source I want that tone to come from so I could equally uh, select it to come from oxygen sats or I can turn it off and not hear it at all. 
to zero or recalibrate your arterial or CVP line, some of the monitors will have a BP0 button set as one of your user keys and this will zero both your arterial and CVP line together. Equally, I could go into the parameter itself and you've got a zero button there that will zero just that one parameter. So let's just demonstrate that. So I'm going to activate the uh, BP0 on my simulator here. So you'll see the lines go flat and in a moment it's going to tell me it's ready. There we are. So I'm going to press the BP0 to do both arterial and CVP together. It now says complete. Oh, I was a little bit slow there. So ready, complete. And then we should see that waveform come back in and some numbers appear on the screen there. So I could go into either parameter to do that and you'll now notice that now I have zeroed those lines. I don't know if you can see that but it's got the date and the time there that those were last zeroed. The other button which this monitor's not networked so you can't see at the moment but it's this other bed function button. And what that will do, you can either activate it by touching the button at the top there, if it says other bed, or going into the menu and selecting other bed. And what this will show you is that all of your beds are in your department showing here. And in order to view any one of those at the same time as viewing the monitor from the bed space you're currently in, select the bed and it will show you about this big, a full picture of that monitor in that bed space as well. You'll also have an alarm silence button so you can silence the alarms from the bed space that you are standing in. So that's also quite a useful feature to know about. So those are some of the additional features and functions uh, along with displays and finding your way around the displays and into the various parameters uh, that you, you can access within the monitor. So thank you very much for listening. If you require any further assistance, you can contact your local clinical support specialist or email us at training at